Aurelien Chiromeni made more tackles and interceptions than any other player in Europe's top five leagues during the 2021-22 season, establishing himself as one of the most sought after midfield prospects in world football. But it was Real Madrid that secured his signature, leaving anyone that didn't win the Champions League desperate for an alternative midfield diamond. So with Chiromeni crossed off every other club's transfer wish list, we've used his profile to identify several alternatives and they probably won't cost you 100 million euros either. For the first group of candidates, we'll stay in France. Benjamin Andre is one of the few midfielders that can match Chiromeni's defensive output, finishing the 2021-22 League Art campaign with more tackles made, duels won and aerial duels won than any other midfielder. However, at 31 years old, he does not offer the same promise as Real Madrid's latest Galactico, nor the progressive passing. Instead, perhaps submit an inquiry for Andre's 20-year-old Lille teammate Amadou Onana. The recently capped Belgium international is a 6-foot, 5-inch brick wall. Among midfielders who played more than 1,200 minutes in Liga last season, Onana was dribbled past by an opponent the fewest number of times. While he may also lack the required passing range to match too many, his age, physicality and defensive edge make him a CDM prospect worth adding to your shortlist. Another option is 22-year-old long midfielder Czech Umar Decore. He ranked second behind only Chouameni for interceptions in the French top flight in 21-22. And although not quite as aerially dominant, the Malian created nearly twice as many chances as the 100 million euro man. If you're searching league up for a deep line ball carrier, then Kefren Turam is your man. Son of the legendary Lillian, Nice's six foot four juggernaut ticks a lot of boxes. He falls short slightly from a defensive perspective, but the towering midfielder holds his own in possession. Turam completed 74.4% of his 43 take-on attempts last season. Marco Verratti was the only league up midfielder to attempt more than 40 take-ons and maintain a higher success rate, an incredible 80.7%, with Chiumeni close behind the pair at 73.1%. We all know everyone loves a wonder kid, so don't sleep on 18-year-old Lucas Gornadouat. If he were Brazilian, Perez would have offered 100 million euros for him instead, especially when you consider that Jude Bellingham and Papi Sarr were the only teenage midfielders in Europe's top five leagues last season that made more ball recoveries than Lucas's 157. Finally, if N'Golo Kante has taught us anything, it's that you don't need to be six foot two like Chouameni to dominate a match. Enzo Lefe may only be five foot seven, but Lorient's pint-sized number 10 puts himself about, ranking in the top 10 for tackles, duels won, and take-ons attempted among league art midfielders. No conversation about Chouameni is complete without mentioning Ibrahim Sangare, and for good reason, but after a flash of his eye-watering radar, we wanted to move away from the PSV man to zero in on a less familiar Eredivisie name in Ramiz Zarouki. The FC20 midfielder is a statistical match, ranking in the top 10 for tackles, final third entries and aerial duels won when compared to Eredivisie midfielders in 21-22. It's no surprise to hear that an Ajax Academy graduate has the ball playing attributes to stand out in the middle of the pitch, but Zarouki's physicality makes him more than just a metronome. The Amsterdammer really is true many lights. Dipping back into the big five leagues, Anton Stach emerged as one of the Bundesliga's best defensive midfielders in 21-22 and earned a senior international call-up as a result. Mainz's six foot four anchorman found himself in the top 10 for shots, aerial duels won and interceptions when compared to Bundesliga midfielders. No wonder Hansi Flick is a fan. Gibraltar produced similar numbers as Eintracht Frankfurt won the Europa League. No midfielder made more ball recoveries in the UEL last season and he'll be playing in the Champions League next season as a result, whatever happens in the transfer window. Another midfielder that excelled in the Europa League, winning possession as many times as the aforementioned Frankfurt man, was Libyan international Al Mazrati. In fact, he ranked second for both ball recoveries and final third entries in the Primera Liga since joining Braga at the start of the 2020-21 campaign. Across the border, there are already plenty of midfielders that profile similarly to La Liga's latest midfield general. Mikel Marino is probably the standout player in this regard. The former Dortmund and Newcastle man is a statistical god and just about to enter his peak years. Among midfielders in La Liga last season, he ranked first for possession one in the middle third ahead of second place Busquets and duels one, while he also ranked second for aerial duels one and even fourth for final third entries, just a place behind Tony Kroos. He even made his mark in the Premier League despite his short stay on Tyneside. Since Virgil van Dijk joined Liverpool in 2018, he's only been dribbled past by an opponent 13 times, and one of those was by Marino. 
At 6 foot 2, the midfield engine has a similar frame to Chouameni, but if you're looking for an even younger player to match the Frenchman, then Marino's 23-year-old Real Sociedad teammate Martin Zubamendi could certainly do a job. Despite measuring just under 6 foot, only four midfielders won more aerial duels in La Liga last season, but none of them could match his fantastic 72.4% win rate. A final name to consider is Sporting Lisbon's 21-year-old midfielder Manuel Ugarte. Among midfielders with at least 900 minutes in the Portuguese top flight last season, Ugarte ranked first for interceptions per 90, ball recoveries per 90, and joint first alongside sporting teammate João Palinha for duels one per 90. Darwin Nunez might not be the only Uruguayan prospect making his way to the Premier League. So, which Aurelian Chiromini alternative do you want your club to sign? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more transfer shortlists coming soon.